the Mighty Midgets have come to town. Ken Stout and Brian Olson here to call all the action for you, along with Rob Klepper. It's the Lucas Oil National Midget Series Power Eye, second annual battle at the center. These things are so exciting, as you well know, Brian, and we actually have the best of the best that have come out here. They're all getting a tune-up here to get this season going. To date yourself back to the National Midget Series many, many years ago, these things had four serial Volkswagen engines, all kinds of configurations, but now I'm telling you, straight inline four cylinders, the dominant motor, and these things will fly. Well, guys, you are right. It's going to be a battle here tonight at the Battle of the Center. 50 plus midget cars and stars showed up, but only 21 will make the 40 lap A main. Big money on the line, but it's also bragging rights. Everybody wants to win here at the Mini Magic Mile. That's why Casey Schumann, defending winners in the house. The Dominator, Zach Dom is here. Brian Clausen, that's right, the bullet in the house. Seven time national champion Levi Jones here as well. Locals, big time drivers from all over the country come to this little town of DeCoin, Illinois to put on an awesome show for all these fans here at the Mini Magic Mile. Well, here's kind of an overview of how to work. We have over 50 midget cars on the property. You only can take 21. Now, we'll have seven heat races. However, you can only qualify through the qualifying races themselves. We'll take seven from each one of those. The A main, 40 laps, and you're going to have a winner after 40. All right, let's get you up to speed on the three qualifiers to set up the A main. It was Brad Loyette, qualifier number one, who brought home the win. Keep in mind, he also did a great job in 2011 with the ASCS Warrior region. Behind him, Tyler Courtney, Brett Anderson, Chet Gerke, Brad Kuhn, Mike Goodman, and Tim Siner all transfer in. In qualifier number two, this baby was stacked like you couldn't believe. It was like a hand up poker in Las Vegas with Levi Jones, Brian Clausen, Danny Stratton, and a host of others. But when the flag came down, it was Clausen your victor, Levi Jones second, Roney, Cockman, Dobb, Stratton, and Blakeman making their way into the main A main. And for the third and final qualifier was Thomas Mezzarol, who picked up the win, followed by David Cobb. Casey Schumann, also in that battle, finished third. Then it was Austin Brown, Kyle Neal, Cameron Hagen, and to round out the top seven was Donald McIntosh. Some great racing all along the way. Wheel stands for the fans, as you might imagine. It doesn't take but just a moment for these things to get inverted as everybody was going for one of those final 21 spots to make it to the A main. Welcome back to the battle at the center. Keep in mind the top six here in the AMA pull pills for their starting positions. Let's get it over to Rob. Well, guys, one year ago, Casey Schumann, known as Little Shoe from Rattlesnake Bend, Arizona, picked up his inaugural battle at the center win. But this is a little bull ring. You like to run the big tracks. I know that up on the cushion. But what's the key to winning here at the coin? You just uh, you got to stay out of trouble. Um, and really just, I mean, it, you just beat and bang a little bit, but you gotta, you gotta do it with a little finesse and not get in too much trouble and, and trying to keep your nose clean all night. Last year you led all 50 laps. Uh, obviously this year, a lot of talent here. So Brian Clausen in the house, Levi Jones, Shane Meal hooked up, been pretty good as of late. Can we go two for two? Oh, we're gonna try. I mean, these guys, all those guys were here last year and, and uh, draw is really important. We got a pretty decent draw in the heat race and uh, we'll just see if we can get the old Rosie Racelands DRC up front again tonight. and. Let's make it three for three in three different cars. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's pick a couple here. I think I'm going to stick with that defending champion. Casey Schumann is the son of the Hall of Famer Ron Schumann. Not only did he win this event a year ago, he also won the Dean King Memorial. I'm going with Brian Kloss. You know, he has won 55 races total in his young career at a very young age. This kid also the 2010 National Midget Series champion. He's been around. Yes, he has, and the competitors go four wide here in a salute to the fans. Everybody always loves it. It is an awesome sight. Yeah, it is definitely an awesome sight. You talk about names, Jones, Clawson, Lloyd, Golf, Tony Rody. I mean, that's just the top eight of the, should say, the first four rows. From their back, they're all over the place. Yeah, there's some big players in here, no doubt about it. And Levi Jones actually driving for Shane Meal in here. Just kind of nitpicking, if you will. Danny Stratton, another big one inside of a Tim Siner. I mean, they are loaded up here in the AMA. This should be a great battle as Mezzarella is sitting on the pole and ready to lead these guys around. Over 50 cars trying to make the show, but only 21 will take this green flag. Well, the 
first thing you got to do is make it through the first couple of turns. And we have gone clean the green. Oh, here so far up to that one. And Danny Stratton stuffs it on the inside berm. That'll bring out the yellow flag here. Another look at it. <laughs> Too many guys trying to get in the same spot, kid. This tight little bull ring of the Mini Magic Mile, you have to have a car that's loose getting into the corners. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's done with stagger. The circumference of the right rear tire versus the circumference of the left rear tire. If you have six inches difference, well, then you have about six inches of stagger. Here at the Mini Magic Mile, you want to have between seven and eight inches stagger to get that car turned through these tight corners. Now, the more stag you have, the looser the car is. If it's too loose, well, you'll hurt yourself coming off the corner. These guys have a number of adjustments that they'll work with all evening long. And right off the bat, it looks like the number seven of Tyler Courtney takes away the early lead here. And the mighty midgets are so important to motorsports. It was really this style of racing that kept motorsports alive throughout the, the Depression and onward post World War II because they could do it in places just like this. Small little bull rings. We watch Mezzerol. And of course, the man, Brian Clausen, go at it. You guys run on a lot of different racetracks throughout the year, pavement dirt, but this one's kind of a lot different than a lot of those racetracks. What do we do to this race car to make it fast here at the Mini Magic Mile? Uh, you know, on the indoor stuff, you, you got to get outside of the box a little bit, and, and uh, there's such tight confines. You got to make sure you can get them to turn, but you got to keep the forward drive in them, too. So uh, you know, we've been working hard over the last three years on these setups, and uh, we finally got it dialed in where we need to be. So hopefully, we can uh, translate that into a win tonight. Well, he is talking to the right guy. Look at the wheel stands right there out of the 37 car. But it is Brian Clausen, who's a two-time national midget and a two-time national driver of the year champion, also a three-time midget driver of the year. He spent a lot of time in one of Sam Smith's Indy Light cars throughout 2011. He is a talented young man. He most certainly is. You know, he was talking about setups. A lot of times it's gear ratios in this thing. But the most important thing Rob touched on early was stagger. The last thing these drivers and the crew mainly do is put on the tire, generally the right rear. It's compound. Those are also very important on one of these races that goes into the lap. So Thomas Mazzarol, your leader, and now is about to catch lap traffic. The first lapper as he dives down to the bottom, right behind him, the black car with the white nose at number 39. That is Brian Clausen, the 56 Levi Jones. Your current USAC Silver Crown and Sprint Car champ. I mean, these are the best of the best. No question about it. They get gathered up here. And now we are, as you mentioned, getting ready to run into the back marker or the lap traffic cars that started at the tail. So it's going to make it a little bit tougher for everyone to pass. So as Clausen, who has taken over the lead, as we well know, with that NOS sponsored machine, now we'll deal with the markers. That's not an easy thing to do. Remember, we're racing on one-fifth of a mile, so it didn't take long to catch up those cars and start in the back. And Mazzarol doing a nice wheel stand. It is so cool to watch these things run. I mean, they make some 350 horsepower, weigh about 900 pounds, and they are hooked up as the yellow flag comes out. It'll be the number six car that brings that yellow flag out. That's David Goff. We'll see if we can find out what happens to him. Looks like he's all by himself right there. Just got a little loose. Drivers try to run that cushion a little bit. If you're not down at the bottom, you got to run that cushion. Here's the way they look. After five, Clausen, your leader. Masvidal, Jones, Loyette, and Courtney, your top five.